الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي بعث في الاميين رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم اياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify him and we thank him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings the favors and bounties that he has bestowed upon us I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah. He is alone and he has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. Ibadullah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an unlettered prophet, a prophet who couldn't read nor write, was sent among a similar nation. Most of its people could not read nor write. And he was sent to rehearse unto them the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring some purity with regards to their practices, their faith, to make sure that he also teach them the book of Allah and in doing so, to ensure that it was done with wisdom, and that is through the practices of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Wa in kanu min qablu la fi mubin." Even though before then. There were people who were astray. Today, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, I want to remind you and remind myself that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is one whom we ought to love more than anything else in this world. He, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that none of you is a true believer until I am more loved to him, to that person, more than anything else in this world, our parents, our children, our resources, whatever we, we have, that there must be a special connection to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's part of our faith, that's part of our Iman. Allah tells us in the Quran, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُوا 
and whatever is given to you in terms of this being lawful by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam take it, practice it, implement it in your lives and whatever he brings as unlawful saying that this is not what Allah would accept then make sure that you stay away from it make sure that you stay away from it so our lives must be lived in accordance with what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought it's easy to say that you love him and he is your prophet and he is Khatmun Nabiyin, the seal of the prophets, that there will be none after him, no prophets, no messenger after him. But what really matters it's the demonstration of that love. And the love is being demonstrated through ensuring that we live our lives in accordance with what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought. Allah says in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Verily, in the Messenger of Allah is a perfect example for you. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَا يُؤْمِنُ أَحَدُكُمْ حَتَّى يَكُونَ هَوَاءُ تَبِعًا لِمَا جِئْتُ بِ أو كما قال sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, None of you have perfect faith until and unless your total inclination is in accordance with what I brought. We, we live in times where people tend to take as their role models those who don't have any good behavior those who don't demonstrate any type of faith look look at our look at our children today and you find it in every family you you find it across the board that their, their, their connection is with some one whom they idolize because he is a great, uh, he's great in the sports that he plays. They idolize people because of the music that comes from them. They, they look at people and take from them because of the clothing that they wear. And, and so many other areas that young people today, this is their trend. And we consider ourselves Muslims. We consider ourselves people who love Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is important, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that we, we don't only tell our families in the word, you know, our dear ones to believe in Allah but we let them demonstrate their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَيْسَ الْإِيمَانِ بِالْتَمَنِّي وَلَكِنْ مَا وَقَرَ فِي الْقَلْبِ وَصَدَّقَهُ وَالْعَمَلِ Iman is not a mere wish or hope, but Iman is that which is registered in the heart and it is being approved by the limbs of the body. We, we just don't tell them to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but we motivate them in, 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 and ensure that they are doing the things that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. You know, in the world that we live in today, because of so much vulgarity, because of the language that people use and the way they speak to each other, we see our, our young ones adopting that lifestyle. They, they, they can't say anything without adding some curse word or something that is not appropriate. That's their sentence. That's how the sentence is being constructed. It has to have some profanity. When, when we are being told that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lam yakun rasulallah fahishan wa la mutafahishan that this messenger of Allah he never spoke indecently nor did he listen to indecent speech. And we see that this is with, with our young ones today, this is the norm of the day. But sometimes when you pass by them and, and, and you hear this obscenity, you want to know if you are listening to Muslims or someone else. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِنَّمَا بُعِثْتُ لِأُتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمَ الْأَخْلَاقِ Verily, I have been sent to perfect behavior. This was our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He came to, to teach people how to behave. And to let them understand that this is what matters with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, what matters with, uh, with people, it's how well they, they dress, or how beautiful or handsome they look, or who is better than the other in terms of what Allah has given to them. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to pray. And, and he told us to pray for like this. O oh Allah, just as how you have made me beautiful or handsome, make my character the same. Let me have beautiful character. Let, let me be a person who behaves well. And the Prophet wasallam taught us to make that dua. When you look in the mirror and you feel, you know, very pumped up that you are handsome or that you are beautiful, Ask Allah to make it from the inside. Ask Allah to let that be demonstrated in your speech and in your actions. 
Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man kana yu'minu billah wal yawmil akhir fal yakul khayran aw la yasmud aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He who believes in Allah and the last day, let him say that which is good. Always speak good things. It, it, it is not so much of how you look, it's what comes out of the mouth. W what comes from these hands, what comes from these eyes, what comes from these ears, what comes from the tongue. It, it, what is, it, it's, in the, it's in the heart. That's what matters with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, it is that which we will be judged by. Alladhi khalaq al mawta wal hayata li yabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala. It is He, Allah, who created death and life so that He may test you. To see which one of you is the best in conduct, how, how well you behave, what is it that comes from these lips, from the mouth? Are we protecting our tongues? One, one of the companions said, that if there was any limb of the body that should be imprisoned, it should be the tongue. Because so often people cannot control it. People cannot control it in terms of what they say. So often we, 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 we look at the we look at saying bad things about people instead of saying good things about them. So often we look to criticize instead of showing appreciation. And so it is so important to make sure that you think before saying anything. If you can't say good things, then remain silent as the Prophet said. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he accepted no compromise when it came to the deen when it came to this way of life if it was something that was haram he stayed away from it yes indeed if there were two things that, and he had to choose between two things, he will choose the one that was easier of the two, so long as it was not unlawful. But he was firm about the deen and practicing the deen. And as much as we live in a Western society, as much as we live in a society where we see so many different customs and practices, we need to be firm like our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when it comes to our practices. when it comes to belief in Allah and demonstrating the belief, when it comes 
to believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, loving him and demonstrating that. When it comes to, you know, practicing the deen of Allah that uh, has been completed. And there will be no changes to it. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورديت لكم الإسلام دينا. This day have I perfected your way of life for you. I have completed my favors unto you, and I have chosen for you Islam as your way of life. Allah says it's completed. Don't add. Don't delete. And that's what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not prepared to do. Remember when the Quraysh wanted him to compromise. They went to his uncle and said, tell your nephew that this is our offer. If he wants to be our leader, we will make him the leader. If he wants wealth, we'll make him the richest man in, in the Arabian Peninsula. We will marry him to the most beautiful women. Let him don't say anything about our idols, about that which we worship. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the firmness, he said, Ya Ammi, O oh my uncle, if they put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand, I would not desist from proclaiming the truth, proclaiming the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until it becomes dominant or I perish in the process. Look at the conviction, look at the commitment, look at him not willing to compromise. And that's how we ought to live our lives, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. But when it comes to the deen, in the deen in the Allah al Islam, verily the way of life with Allah is al Islam, we need to be formed. And to practice the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we need to, to ensure that Islam is established in our homes, Islam is established in our communities. Islam is being brought to our neighbors in, and it all happens through our actions, through our behavior. This is how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he made a difference in the lives of the people who were around him. They saw his actions and they adopted those actions. They saw his simplicity. They, they saw how much he cared about people, how much he was willing to give a helping hand. And, and so they became the most charitable people around. That they would not allow people to go hungry. They would not allow people to be in need and they would not be able to take care of their needs. They saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always showing appreciation to them for their services. And not condemning people, protecting people, making sure that their faults were covered. 
And, and so they did likewise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Quran, Qul in kuntum tuhibboon Allah fattabi'uni yuhbibkum Allah wa yaghfir lakum dunubakum. Say if you love Allah, then follow me. Follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at how the love for Allah is being tied to the following of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah says, Allah will love you and he will forgive you your sins. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, if it is one thing that we take away today, let us take away this. إِنَّمَا بُعِثْتُ لِأُتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمَ الْأَخْلَاقِ Verily, I have been sent to perfect behavior. This is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's strive to perfect our behavior. Let's strive to be the best that we can be in terms of our speech and in terms of our actions. Let Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam be our role model and encourage your families, your young ones, encourage others to make sure that this man, the greatest man that walked this, the face of this earth, that he is our role model and not people who don't believe and not people who uh, are, are, are drug addicts not because they're famous look at their lifestyle why is it that your children want to be like them yes they may be superheroes because they are great basketball players and great football players and great cricketers and whatever else but look at their lifestyles instead of young ones you know being so much connected to them ask them to be connected to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ask them to learn about the great companions and what difference they made in life what difference they made with regards to those whom they, they interacted with sometimes you, you go in some homes today and there is nothing to, to show that this is a Muslim home but if you were to enter the rooms of the children you would see posters of all these superheroes that's the culture that we are living in today that's how much we have become engrossed in, in, in the, the people whom are being idolized we need to be careful my dear brothers and my dear sisters take Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our example and make sure that life is lived in accordance with what he brought may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and have mercy upon us 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide us to the straight path. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'iri al-mu'minu minat min kulli dham fa astaghfirun innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in Ridwanullahi alayhi mila yawmiddin Amma ba'd My dear brothers and my dear sisters There are times in our lives when the, the heart becomes a little hardened and we tend to drift away from the fitra, the natural way. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, in al-quloba tasda'u kama yasda'u al-hadid. Verily, the hearts become rusted just as how the iron becomes rusted. The companions, they ask, and how do we clean it? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, you remove that rust from the heart by tilawatul Qur'an wa dhikrul maut. You remove the rust from the heart by connecting with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not just reading it, but ensuring that it makes a difference in your lives. Implementing it. And that you always remember death. That you will go someday. And more and more we are understanding that death does not discriminate. So many young, old, strong, weak, healthy, sick, over the last year and a half, two years, we have seen so many return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember death. It will help to soften the heart. It will bring the heart closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Recite the Quran. Implement its rules. Share it with your families, your friends. There is light, nur, coming from the Qur'an. If you recite it and you implement it, it will make you the best of Allah's creation. Inna hadha al-Qur'an yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Verily, this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us true followers of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may he save us from the torment of hellfire. لَقَدْ أَمَرَنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهُ مَلَائِكَتُهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه على الرواة أبي بكر وعمر وثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين مبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة 
الاخوان التابعين ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اللهم عز اسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الايمان وثبت قلوبنا على الدين الاسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا الا غفرته ولا هما الا فرجته ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا دينا إلا قديته اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبذل يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم السلام